Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. This is my stock CR10 3D printer and if you've ever seen one in person, then you know how stupid loud they get. Just let me demonstrate. I'm just gonna turn this on. I have a shotgun microphone directed towards me, so it's gonna pick it up about the same amount as me talking here. And that is almost as loud as I'm talking. It sounds like a jet engine. And that's without even printing. So today I'm gonna attempt to make this printer a whole lot quieter. Now, before I get started with modifying it, I just quickly want to show you a baseline of how the printing sounds. As the main problem while printing isn't just the stupidly loud fans, but also the vibrations that are induced by the motors. And how, when I have the printer sitting on the floor, you can hear it even two stories up in the same building as it travels through the walls and it just is annoying as all hell. So let me show you that. So the print should start any second now and you're gonna quickly notice how loud this printer really is. And with the printer running like that, it's gonna be really hard for you to even understand me, even though I'm talking quite loudly right now. And the faster the printer prints the worse the sound gets and as soon as it hits a certain speed it gets even louder and this just is unacceptable and that is why i have a solution but first i'm gonna turn this off otherwise you can't really hear me that, that well so the solution that i'm gonna use is for one this fan here that is cooling the hot end is super loud when you just turn the printer on that's the loudest thing there is. And to replace that, I got this Noctua fan, and I'm pretty sure that half of what I paid for it is just for the packaging, because it like opens up all the everywhere, and the fan is just this teeny tiny little thing in there. But it's supposed to be the quietest fan that there is, while still giving great airflow, which is very important here. I wouldn't use any of the cheap, small, quiet fans as they might be almost as quiet as the Noctua fan but they usually have really bad CFM so there is not a lot of air and this fan here is really important to cool the hot end because otherwise your material is gonna get stuck in the hot end and you're gonna have a whole bunch of problem. That's why this fan also is running at 100% all the time. So I will be replacing it with this Noctua fan and I found that the other fans aren't quite as loud the control box here does make quite a bit of noise as well with the fans, but compared to the rest, it's nothing. And I'm probably not going to tackle this uh, right now, as I would have to take it apart and also replace more fans in there. And for the other thing, the motors, I got these vibration dampers. They're super cheap, you can get them for like a buck a piece from China, and you just have to wait a month to get them. And what they are is basically two metal rings with some rubber in between. One part gets screwed to the motor and the other part where the motor was before. And that gives you a rubber barrier between the vibrations of the motor and the frame of the printer and everything else. I have never personally tried these but I've seen really great results with those online. So I'm very hopeful for those. So I would say let's get installing.
I now added one of those dampers between the extruder motor, the X and the Y motor. I didn't add one in the Z motor because it's just the way that this one is mounted it's pretty much impossible to put one in there and also the Z motor isn't turning very often so that's not that big of a deal. So why don't we turn the printer back on and start a print to see or better hear how loud it is now. That's it. I can now pretty much not at all hear the fan here that's cooling the extruder, which is no big surprise to me because it's a Noctua fan. But now I can hear the control box quite loudly. Before it was drowned out by the extruder fan, but now I can he hear it very clearly. And I'm thinking that I almost have to do something about that as well. So let's start a print to see how loud that is. Do you hear that? That's the z-axis movement. That's how it sounded before. That is x moving and y moving. <laughs> you can pretty much not hear them at all. This is just crazy. Oh my god. Wow. All you can hear now is the z-axis, nothing else. And of course, the fans from the control box and this part cooling fan, those you can hear as well. So, if I wanted to continue on this path further, what I would do is certainly replace the part cooling fan and the three fans inside of the control box, and that would make the whole printer even quieter. But Considering that I didn't spend much money apart from the Noctua there fan, no I didn't ask you, Alexa. Considering that I didn't spend much money at all apart from the Noctua fan, this is a really quick and simple way to make your printer so, so much quieter. Now, I do have to mention that now that the motors are mounted not directly but with a rubber ring in between they are not mounted quite sturdily anymore because of course there is some play in the rubber that's why it dampens the vibrations and that could lead to some tiny inaccuracies especially in like braking and overshooting but I'm gonna test this but I, I'm not expecting to see any major problems but for me, it certainly is worth it, but if you have to print it in the garage and you can't hear it anyways and print quality is your number one priority above all else, then maybe that's not that good of an idea, but if that isn't the case, then adding those dampeners just decreases the volume by a crazy amount. This printer is springing beside me right now and Apart from a bit of fan noise, you can probably barely hear anything. So, me personally, I will probably order up some more fans for the control box and for the part cooling fan, but that's not gonna make it into this video. But I think you saw how much you can really make a printer quiet with some very, very simple things. So, I hope this video helped you out making your printer quieter. I'm gonna have the parts linked below that I used. So, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff, all linked down below. So, thanks for watching and until next time.